All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the, the moment is finally here. The Brockermeyer Twins just committed to the University of Alabama, and this is a huge, huge dub for the University of Alabama. Um, you want to talk about, you know, two guys that a lot of Bama fans have been wanting to hear this name for a while. They wanted, they wanted to hear that these two, you know, committed. Uh, Bama fans, this, this, this has been a long time coming. Um, you can make an argument. It's definitely one of the biggest commitments we've had in a while. Only because, you know, we've never had a set of twins that were five stars um, commit like this. We never had it. And uh, this is so this is the first um, that this has happened. And, uh, yeah, Tommy Brockemeyer, uh, number one offensive tackle. I think the number two offensive tackle right behind Mims. And James Brockemeyer, the number one center in the country. Um, two guys that I think will have a instant impact or, or at some point will have an impact towards the Alabama uh, Crimson Tide. Uh, you want to talk about a re, you know a recruiting class? What a job done by this coaching staff! I mean, you're talking about a recruiting staff that was 57th in the country. A lot of people, including myself, were kind of a little worried. Not that Alabama was not gonna, you know, not they were not gonna stay at 57. They were gonna be a top 10 recruiting class, I believe. But the question is, you know, have they lost a step? Um, uh, has Alabama lost a step in recruiting? And Bama is proving right now that they haven't lost a step. They're going to get, you know, they can get anybody that they want. And, um, yeah, this, this, you know, this coaching staff has done a great job, especially with COVID, right? Dealing with, I know that this video is probably going to be demonetized, but whatever. Uh, I understand what, you know, with the COVID situation, the coaches had to make a, 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 a huge adjustment. And um, they've, they've done that, especially in July. They've dominated July. And I think the crazy thing is, is that Sunday is that Alabama could potentially get uh, the number two guard in the country in Terrence Ferguson. And um, even next Sunday, they can get a guy like um, Damon Payne, who is a five star defensive tackle. So this is a huge commitment of getting two, uh, two damn near five star players, um, James and Tommy, Tommy Brockemeyer, um, one of the best tackles, you know, five star um, offensive tackle in this class, great hips. Very, very fluid with his movement. Quick feet as well. Knows how to use his hands. James Bryant Brockemeyer is damn near the same thing. Um, he knows how to play the center. He's a, he's a natural center. Knows how to play that position. Quick, um, great IQ. I mean, both of these guys are just great young men too. Got to put that out there. Um, and yes, this this has just been a long time coming. Two high-quality players um, that, you know, were battling Texas, right? You know, it was, you know, Texas, LSU, Auburn, those schools were coming hard for them. But Alabama, at the end of the day, was able to get the majority of the crystal ball predictions. And a lot of Bama fans felt comfortable with the Brockermeyers coming to the University of Alabama. As far as Texas goes, this is a huge L for Texas. Um, I, I know that there are some Texas fans out there that are saying this is one of the biggest disappointments. Um, if they would lose two Texas legacy players that are five stars, that's what happened. And they did lose them to the University of Alabama. As a matter of fact, their brother actually plays linebacker for the University of Texas. So yeah, this is actually a this is a huge help for the University of Texas. But for Alabama, a huge dub. And Alabama has gotten three players in literally less than two weeks. Um, which is absolutely crazy. And again, Terrence Ferguson could commit um this Sunday. Matter of fact, this week alone they gotten three players, including potentially getting Terrence Ferguson. And then of course there is Payne. Um so like I said before, guys, great job by the recruiting staff. Great job by the players that are committed to the University of Alabama. These guys have been recruiting their ass off, like a Gia Hall, um, right? These guys have been, you know, Jacoy Brooks. These guys have done, done a great job. Um, but yeah, Alabama fans too. Uh, Bama fans have done a great job too. Um, you know, you know, staying respectful. Um, and uh, man, so you know, like I said, great job to everybody. So anyway, guys, let me know how you guys feel about the Brockermeyer twins finally making their commitment, committing to University of Alabama. And um, yeah, we can definitely hash this out in the comment section below. So anyway, guys, hope you guys stay safe. This is Jess Seven Six. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.